great work at the bottom. Bell was there too. Denham already looks like an unmade bed, but he's been in absolutely everything. Johnson from half back. Jason up towards half forward. Pickett showed his usual courage. Now the race is on. McCurry. 40 metres out. McCurry for goal. The Bowers rises one. Play goes oh. on. Oh. Good interception there. It's Blakey in trouble. In all sorts of strife. That is a good He's down play. and looks as though he may stay down. Barnes kicks it towards half forward. Good kick and Mickey Martin. Is that 50 metres? The ball gathered by Wallace. Wallace playing inspired football from the full back line. Good kick to onto the chest of Hurd. Hurd stands, delivers and delivers with precision. I think the floodgates are just starting to squeak a little bit. Carousella. A chance for Carousella to kick his first goal. And maybe the Bombers' ninth. He goes from about 45 metres. It is a good kick to Carousella, a goal. Jason Johnson again gets it down towards the 50. Here they go to finish it off. Blake Carousella, you've been off target, so give it to Rioli. And he does, and he goes. Congratulations to the Ansett Cup winners, Kevin Sheedy, James Hurd and the Essendon Football Club. Essendon takes its sixth Ansett Australia Cup in style. Mark McCurry best on ground, winning the Michael Tuck medal. Alessio wins it. Barnes scouting to long, 40 metres out. Close. He's got it. Michael Long's kicked the first. And he's prepared to take the gamble. Yes. Steinbrenner from James. Burgoyne. Port have had a fair bit of it, haven't they, in the last five, six minutes? Haven't been able to score a goal. Long to Hardwick. Hardwick down the line. Alessio and Mead. Mead did really well there. They'll just push him out. Probably could have taken the mark. Carousella clever. Release of Solomon. Lloyd wants it deep and long. He's going to get it. Get back in. He's got it. He's too good. Well, even though the Bombers went short there, they were able to go a bit more direct to Mercedes. And now Fletcher, and one Belcher. decent kick in their centre wing, aren't they? Well, yeah, that's a centre-half forward, Barnes, who's moved up. Now, here comes the on-ballers, and that's what they do. I mean, pretty, pretty simple game sometimes. Head, good stretch, he's got it. I'm sure Wilson touched it on the way down. Yeah. I like it again. Sits, waits, can't quite get clear, terrific tackle from Wallace, is having a blinder, Solomon back, lovely take from Johnson, down low, to Wellman, to Solomon, go away, to the Curie, I should say, two, bounces, goes to the pocket, Lloyd's got it. Lloyd to go for his third, Hurd's got three, kicks from 48, it's a great kick, it's got three. Alessio trying to get to the goal square. He's going to kick it there now. He's on about 80 metres to get there, Alessio. Paxman, Buick's got it. Buick's got it. The Bombers christen their new home ground, Colonial Stadium, with a 94-point win over Port Adelaide. Lloyd booting seven. There's no uh, holes big <laughs> enough. We've all looked for them a few times, right? <laughs> Good play by Heffernan. To Jason Johnson to set a half forward or hurts a top was terrific. A short back and sides to the pocket. Lloyd! Yes! Hey! Well, surely uh, Lightning won't strike twice. Lloyd's kicked the goal. His endurance has never been questioned. Johnson, Alessio all on his own. Oh, Barnes is on his own in the pocket. Have a look at this. He'll kick it, he'll mark it. He could stroll in and kick the goal, he decides not to. Ran forward, oblivious to where the ball was going. He's just back in a turnover and he's going to shoot for goal. Looks good, he's got it. And uh, unfortunately it was another rush point, which has been a few. 
Campbell short ball, untidy. Lloyd decides to take his man on and kicked to Long. Long half volley, terrific. You would put this one down. A goal. Long off and Rioli on. Barnard floats at the centre half board. Heard front spot got over the top of him and Cameron. Lloyd was terrific. Solomon's already kicked one and another. Johnson, who has been terrific. He's a real ball winner to Masiti. Kicks the ball inside 50. Kellaway missed it. Rioli taps in Lloyd's direction. Hurd's got it. And then hooks it back. It's a goal. What a start from the captain. At centre wing. Takes his time. Delivers to half forward. Lloyd just in front of him. Clever. Blumfield playing it in front. Still with Blumfield on the up. Lloyd's kicked his fourth. Terrific foot in. Many coaches uh, in the past would have said you should have spoiled that. Oh, yuck. Well, he did spoil oh, it in a way, didn't he? To Hurd, to full forward. Lloyd front spot, taken out of it. Kicked around the body. It looks good. It's a goal, Barnard. Jason Johnson winning the three Brownlow votes for the second week in a row. Lloyd kicking another seven. You would have been very happy with Barnsley's performance tonight, too. Uh, oh, well, John, John's been just, I think, you know, we're, we're fortunate that we've got him. You know, to be quite honest, uh, pick up a 165-game player that could play uh, basically the way he's playing at the present time um, in a draft when there's probably 50 odd draft choices. You know, before his, um, that, that's just been a, a good selection for our club, and I think that um, I think it's been good for him. You know, I think just probably not travelling to Geelong um, is a pretty handy sort of um, exercise. You know, living in Essendon. So we've probably got a little bit more than what we, we may have thought. But we've got no doubt about that. Giving him the runaround at the moment. Up towards Waterhouse. Emerges with the footy to Fletcher. I don't think it was intended for Fletcher. He got in the road, really. Hardwick took it from Heffernan. Kicks it towards the centre. Nicely done by Long to Hurd. Hurd breaks away. 65 metres out. Long kick. This could carry the pair of them. It's a goal. Nicely done by Barnard, Mercedes, Barnes, Carousella, a hot one taken high. Well, play on's the call. Hardwick picks it up nicely. He's about 75 metres from goal. Bombs it down. Good mark. Lucas with Bandy coming back. Scott Lucas steers it through. He's back in business. And Brad Dodd forced to come to the ground. Very lucky to get away with that. In fairness to Hurd, it wasn't a fumble. The ball was knocked away from him. There were men on inside the 50. All goal side as far as the Bombers were concerned. Socket off the ground by Long and he's got a goal. You're kidding. Ricochets to Lucas. On the overlap is Fraser. Fraser inside the 50. Ramanaskis deep in the pocket. Runs to the goal square and bangs it through comes away, kicks towards midfield well, he backed himself did Brown, Lloyd gathers the crumb, kicks inside the 50, it hangs a long time in the air going back down there, Lucas waiting behind Long, Long runs into an open goal and kicks it in characteristic fashion off a step, kicks it down towards the boundary and Lloyd, kick it right there with him interesting hand pass, got it across to Buick Buick kicks it down towards half forward. Blumfield had it fisted away by Bandy. Roving the pack is Hurd. Pulls it back towards half forward. What a beautiful kick. Ramanaskis didn't have to break stride. Goes in and kicks a goal. The lead on the wing, but it's found long through the centre. That's the best way to go, straight down the middle. Long, probing kick to half forward. Lloyd leads back in the race. This will be interesting. Lloyd deep in the pocket. Decides to come around onto his left foot and hook it back, and he's kicked... I think he's kicked a goal. Fine effort. Sheedy's 450th match at Essendon, a big win over Fremantle by six goals. Out of the centre, they did very well, didn't they? But yeah. their conversion, is that what hurt them from your perspective? Oh, early doors it definitely did because they could have been two or three goals up um, in the first quarter. But I mean, the amount of times we got it in compared to them, they, I, I felt that they were much better, but they're used to the ground probably a little bit more than us. So we found a little bit difficult out there with, with um, the grandstands changed the winds of this ground, but um, no, I mean, we're happy to get away with a, a win the way we've uh, won it in the end. We've got 
probably Mark McHugh, we've got Rioli, we've got more Prof, Pryor, a lot of those guys to come back in, plus um, Jacobs has been playing very well. So, there's, you know, there's a lot of boys here that can put pressure on. We're, we've got a very short week this week and um, coming up to play Hawthorne, so we're going to have to be very careful how we handle this game coming back. Cabe takes it for the Hawks. Crawford does the shepherding, and Crawford gets it back from Holland. Good running by Vandenberg, who's running off. Oh! Massini is a ball magnet. He had no reason to get that, but he got it again. The kick by Pryor. Hi, Lloyd! Who kicked 87 goals last year. This should be easy for him. He's given them something to think about, but I think he's kicked it just the same. Who's on his backside as Johnson kicks the ball beautifully. Kick, kick finds James Hurd. G. Mark Wallock was good in that. He braced himself for the bigger John Parker. Barnes! Yes, Johnny Barnes! Up, up and away! Yeah. There's Michael Long on the ground. And Johnny Barnes from directly in front finishes it off. A great passage of play for the Bombers. License to run it out of defence. Well, he attacked too much from defence then. Hurts come in and pinched it. Salmon, intercept! Nice sensation. Oh, Sets it up to Buick. Into the pocket. Moorcroft. He took the risk of the Essendon player was going to get the ball and sucked back into the forward line there. It was good play. Just read the pull. To Buick, who can smell a goal. He's got a big whiff. 45 metres out. And bangs it through. Majestic player is the way Drew Morford sums him up. Alessio, the ball was touched. Thrown off the ball was Tallis. No free kick that time for Paul Couch. Here's Michael Long. Danger. Unselfish play to Fraser and kicks a goal. Floats it. <laughs> play on. It's an awkward one. Barnard, Heffernan again. And again. Beautifully played there by Chris Heffernan. Up towards the 50. A juggle. Oh, oh the mark not taken by Collica. Then he grabbed Hurd and didn't have it. Lloyd, Lloyd gets the hand pass from Long and Lloyd, he kicks another one. Barlow. Kicks down the half forward line. Oh, Fletcher! Is that ball like Royce? Three Brownlow medal votes to James Hurd. The Bombers well in command over Hawthorne. Well, Hawthorne battled hard all day. Just the class of the Essendon side just to shine through. Look, I think um, it's been a bit of a away game for us because, uh, you know, they started well last week and finished well um, against Brisbane. And, um, you know, we're particularly coming back from Fremantle. We're a bit concerned that... Uh, their athletic football would have, they might have possibly caused us some concerns in, in uh, running us a bit ragged, but uh, we were very, very pleased with the way we uh, worked through the game and um, we, we probably could have kicked a few more goals than what we did. But, um, look, from, from my point of view as a coach, it's, it's hard to get a team up after five days' rest. Back by uh, Freeborn, playing his first game for the Blues. Out to Barnard. Lloyd a long way from goal, concedes some ground, back to the bloke who gave it to him, Paul Barnard, high to full forward, oh, McCurry jumped from the back, there's nowhere near it, Lucas marks, Lucas right in front, 35 out, goal. Allen made a lead, he went short, and Matthew Lloyd is with it brilliantly. Shooting from 35 metres out. The young gun, the superstar. Drills it. You just hear Barnes on the ground. It's a stupid play. You just got to try and stop Barnes from getting the ball out, not giving the free kick. Didn't seem to make contact. Fletcher, with a bit of arrogance, runs the 50. Magnificent goal! Finds Kuda Fides. Always seem to be kicking under pressure. Caught in two minds. Pinched by Buick. Back to Hurd. Danger here for the Blues. Long bomb. Look out, Lloyd. Off the hands. Carousella goes to the ground. Clever enough to tap it out. Hickman's going to pick it up. Runs into the open goal. And bangs it through. He'll get the run from Barnes. He'll go short for Lloyd. Magnificent play, Bombers. Waste no time. Gives it across to James Hurd. Big pack of players. Great grab, Lucas. In fact, most of the Bomber players can take a mark. 
Scotty Lucas, point blank range, kicks a goal. Singing and swaying and even laughing at some of Carlton's antics earlier in the game. But I think people are starting to treat this like a footy game now. There's two sides playing. Hardwick has been so good across half back, pumps the ball back. Lucas, a one-hander, a juggler, 45 metres out. A big kick for the Bombers. It's a big kick. At the front, Hardwick. His kick is perfect for Johnson. Mark Johnson from half-back flank. Oh, unmarked in the centre square is Carousella. Off to Ramanaskis. Open forward line. Ramanaskis going all the way. He can kick this and seal it. And he's done just that. The blockbuster at the MCG. Essendon defeating the Blues by 24 points. Heard, Lloyd and Lucas all spending time on the back line. Measures it. Goes in the direction of Bartlett. I think Bartlett might have called Cox out. Wallace was good. Smoke and Joe on the up to Fletcher. Fletcher straightens the body and bangs it long to Lucas who can turn around and kick a goal. He does. He lines them up and delivers the first. To Jason Johnson. Live up. Jason Johnson will fancy himself here. Gets up on his feet. Play. Well played. Gets it back to Heffernan. To Moorcroft. Lloyd wants it long and deep. Gives him every chance. Magnificent stuff. Well, there's the view. He's only about 30 metres out. He's directly in front. He's careful with it. He's kicked the goal. Partner with him. Where are the crummers? Carousella. Still with Carousella. Straightens it up. He's hurt, Bartlett. Jacobs. Well, Alessio kick one in the opening term like this. Gia Lloyd gets back. Good contest. Oh, Goal to well for Brilliant roving. Brilliant roving for the pocket. And then Lloyd with a penetrating kick. Alessio versus Bartlett. Bartlett went to ground. Curly oh. last man standing. Bloodfield's going to kick a goal. That's going to hurt a whole lot. Barnes goes hard and high. Lloyd caught out. Got a bit of a shove. No free kick. Buick. Typical Buick. That wasn't typical Buick. He handballed. Oh, well done. Carousella to Blumfield. And a team goal. Into centre half forward. Pryor kept his legs together, did okay, but comes back to Darcy, to Cox, went without it. Wellman, terrific, from Wellman. terrific stuff. Comes to Jacobs and Ramanowskis. Carousella's kick two. He'll fancy himself here. 48 out, brings it back and kicks another one. They've got 19 of them. Cox, wobbly, poor kick. Mrs. Jacobs, Ramanowskis has got it. Mercedes on the end of it. Marnie Hard, well done. But uh, Carousella, who's had a blinder, he's got a couple of options, goes in board, lining them up, Blumfield, it's another one. Well, he's matched Southern, hasn't he? Look, his last quarter, he's got three in the last quarter, I think. Yep. yep. They're an awesome unit, they really are. A 63-point win to Essendon, Lucas outstanding, kicking six goals and winning the three Brownlow votes. at the moment, but uh, I doubt he'll get back into this match, but certainly a free kick there. Heffernan is the player. Heffernan cruises around Buckley. He goes in towards full forward. Lloyd with the one hand. He couldn't take it. Lucas again for another one. They're doing pretty well, Collingwood, to keep uh, the Bombers to the score they are. Long, clever little kick. Lloyd couldn't get a crack at it. Sung it off the ground by Johnson. Gives it out wide. Wellman clears the centre wing. Heard tries to cut across the pack. Lucas, the big fella, picks it up now. Looks in towards half forward. Heard is heading back there. Can they create a path for him? Lloyd beautifully done. McCurry off to Heard. Heard will cruise into goal, and he should kick it, and he does. Sneaks away from McCurry. Spears in and towards at the middle of the ground. His target was Yukovic. Heffernan might make him pay here. Now Scotty Lucas goes from 55. The boy from Camperdown has little scores. Barnes wins it to Hurd. Can't shrug the tackle, but gets the kick down towards Moorcroft. He's pretty smart. Moorcroft round the body. The bouncing ball towards Lloyd. He can swing round in an arc onto the left foot. He should kick a goal. I like it. He does kick a goal. Hey, it's goal for goal here at the MCG. Look out. Yukovic's after him, so he gives it to Hurd. He's going to have to be quick. He is. Lloyd is the man. 
Lloyd is the target. Well spoiled again. Lecuria waiting down. Hand pass goes astray. Could be costly. Mercury tries to give it out to Heffernan. He's successful. Heffernan can't get clear. Eventually he does. Oh. Yes! That is brilliant. Shades of Manchester United. No one clearly out of the middle initially. It's left to Justin Blumfield to pump it high. Up towards half forward. Long's hand pass was like absolute lightning. Here's real danger. Mercury in towards the forward line. Unable to take it on the half volley was Lloyd. Probably little hand pass. Back towards Mercury again. Another one to Hurd. James has given him the start in the last quarter. Tough a little bit after half time. They probably needed the game to flow on for them because they really had Essendon flustered and half time gave them Essendon a chance to regroup and come out firing again. But Collingwood certainly haven't uh, embarrassed themselves today. Well, here comes another one. Become a little too easy for Justin Blumfield. The Anzac Day clash at the MCG, James Hurd continuing his fairy tale comeback to football, winning the Anzac Day medal. Fletcher and Lucas outstanding. Oh, I think we were pretty relaxed. Um, we, we sort of knew that we were playing uh, not as well as what we would have liked and we had our fair share of the ball and to me it was just a matter of um, probably relaxing a little bit and getting into uh, our game style and um, all the the areas of the game that we have been playing for most of the last sort of probably two years really I mean um, we haven't lost a lot of games of footy and just for that first part of it we just just keep bombing the ball away and just hoping that we'd uh, catch it down the forward line so we have to get better than that I think once we use the ball better um, the team performed better after uh, half time and uh, we'll, we'll go back to have a look at that on our tapes and edits and see uh, which culprits might have been um, first hand at um, defending. Important goal, wasn't it? Because uh, you had the feeling that the Bombers could have taken charge here, but again out of the centre, they have been really good, as uh, Matthew said a moment ago. Heffernan gets it to half forward. Mercury, still Mercury, to Lloyd on his wrong side. Arches his back, he's gone. Well, he should have been gone, I felt. Play on call. Mercury's in the pocket. Little Topo clever. Long will make something of it, and Lloyd kicks a goal. Well, he was lucky earlier. Lucas decides to go very high and long. Solomon there belted away. Voss read it all right, but Hurd's taken it from him. That's a good matchup. Hurd's little left footer back. Blumfield went early. Hook back was good by Lappin. Terrific more put. Unbelievable stuff. It's a goal. Boundary throw in wide over the top with the punch. Falls to Lappin. Lappin, high ball. Malloy's got to go. Drops it, Fletcher there, quick hands is good. Ramanowskis has got pace. He'll go round Voss onto the left boot from 48 goals. Adam Ramanowskis, a great goal! Almost losing it. Heads towards the centre half forward position, heads towards Lloyd. Gets up early. The punch came there from Huskis. Here's Lloyd, gets to 48. Does he do enough? He does. Four goals to Matty Lloyd. towards Alessio, two on one, look at Buick, he just read it beautifully, stayed over the back, Blighty's happy with it as he decides to take a bounce, kick a goal down, three bounces in the way, he loves it, he runs to 40, oh, you Wellman pops it up to centre half forward, can Lloyd get a run and he can't, belt it away, it comes to Moorcock, he's got some options, he hooks it back cleverly and Buick's taken another one and kicks up that foot. Is celebrating. Dustin Fletcher underlining his talents winning the three Brownlow medal votes in Essendon's huge win over Brisbane. Side of the handball, tough for Bruce here, went to ground, oh it was a bit automatic David, and Pryor takes it away, so Melbourne again missing an opportunity in front of goal. Had to be careful there not to give away 50. Should have been. Yeah, it could well have been. Pushing down Mercedes. Chance for Lloyd. He's well out in front. He's just about too far out. Not though he wheels around and pumps it long. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Demons. Matthew Lloyd shows the way. Essendon having to change their structure a little bit. Simmons and White have really stretched them so far. That's a dangerous kick in. A really dangerous kick in. Made them 
have to work hard and they might lose it here inside the last minute. They might lose the lead if McCurry's accurate and McCurry is accurate. The Bombers in front. Shown a bit more composure in the second quarter. You could see that early in the first couple of minutes with their, their field kicking. Ramanaskis drives it long. Ingerson in the spoiling position. Lucas and Lloyd. And Lloyd loves these. Dribbles it through. Really misses. Trying to create some momentum for the Demons. They started so well, but haven't really been able to convert. They've just got themselves into a bit of trouble here. Walshaw gave it away. Carousella got a couple in the square. Sure to make them pay. And Moorcroft does the job. And that couldn't have been worse for Melbourne. Playing in front. Too far out to score. Sets it up for the Lloyd lead. Let's see how he goes. Ingerson, usually good here. Made the spoil. Made it cleanly. Just a rare fumble there from Wowoden. They wrapped up the CD though in the tackle. Oh, he's a go with his wheel. There he is. Held without the ball. No to the umpire. Buick. Oh, dangerous handle. Really created from Buick. And Moorcroft comes in and kicks the goal. Well, he had, he had no hope then. He was outnumbered four to one. Carousella into Hardwick. Back to Carousella, in turn Barnard. Barnard short kick is all right, and Mercedes takes the mark. He's still behind the wing. Kicks the ball close to half forward. Good mark. Lucas had a quiet day, but by G, the big blokes, they never get any shorter, do they? And he pumps home a goal for Essendon. He's going to have to kick. Oh, dear. Oh, Bad choice in the end. They just got their outriders, their tall players, Essendon. Standing start from Hurd. Stand and deliver. And the skipper does. And blows away Melbourne's chances. Three more Brownlow votes to James Hurd. Lloyd kicking six in Essendon's 13-point win over the Demons. Melbourne does well together. Hurried left footer. Back towards centre wing. Blumfield along. Michael Long centres the ball towards Hurd at centre half forward. He's bumped out. Well, it was dropped. It comes to the back and now eventually to Hurd off Barnes. Kick by Hurd. Swings back. Goal. He's going to have a chance to get another one here, Doug. Kick by Hart. Barnes in front. Oh, Long. How about the vision? Jacobs onto it and Jacobs kicks the goal. Joe Mussini stole the ball. It was daylight robbery. Mark not quite completed. Fletcher oh. the hand pass out for Curie. And Lucas onto it for a goal. Spirals one to half forward. And Lloyd back in his... Well, where he's playing at centre half back takes the mark. I nearly said rightful place. I don't think it's his rightful <laughs> place by any means. Ramanaskis. Fletcher at the back. And he climbs it! Oh, Jared called it. Woohoo! Jared, take over the calling. Great oh, call. Oh, oh. You call the beautiful, Jared. Well spotted. Well, it's easy to call on, Dougie. Yeah. It's tough to make <laughs> it happen like Fletcher. <laughs> and Fletcher gets the goal. And the Lloyd's come now out onto uh, or out to centre half back. Johnson, clever. Ramanaskis. Why hasn't he played more game time? Adam Ramanaskis. Killed him since he's been there. Well, that's a high tackle, surely, on Edwards. No whistle. Comes to Byrne. Ramanaskis again. Brilliant to McCurry, out in front of oh, Long, oh, oh. Michael Long for goal! Bombers are back in town! The, uh, the big deficit of three quarter at half time. I think Michael Long was a superstar that yeah. day. Lumfield forward, Fletcher, very high ball, real hospital ball here. McCurry low down, Lucas goes back, is Longy again, and here oh, is shit. another one! A big scare for the Bombers against Adelaide. At three-quarter time, the Crows led by 22 points. But then Essendon got down to business, kicking 11 of the next 12 goals. Six of them to Michael Long. Yeah, if you're sitting on top of the ladder at the present time, just don't sit there and not try to achieve some development, some uh, growth in, in your side. And um, probably what it, it did do for us t t t today was that we were allowed to look at other players in different positions than they normally play, and, and that probably isn't that bad. Is that why Lloyd went to defence? Sorry? Is that why Lloyd went to defence? Oh, yeah. Well, gee whiz, if, if, if Wayne Kerr can go to the defence, I'm sure Matthew Lloyd can. Barnes takes it, and they use it through the middle. Mercedes and now McCurry. Out to the wing, Ramanaskis. Can spark up and go along to Lloyd. 
He does go a bit in between, but oh. Lloyd gets there and gets a crunch as well for his trouble. Well, it was a pinpointed pass, so it was an outstanding kick. Well, Lloyd, a very healthy run-up, as usual. Will actually kick it from just inside 50, as you can see. Looked pretty good off the boot. <laughs> Another one to Matthew Lloyd. Did pretty well to keep it alive, Henneman. Just measured the kick and measured it really well. Masiti, now Lucas. Over the top, long, watch out. Oh, he did, the sidestep. Superb. Oh, Jacobs on the end of it. Plenty of time for Scotty Lucas, and he drills it. Masidi, a bit more pattern to their play now, a bit more running. McCurry, it opens up. Lloyd just waiting, ready to go. They're all just ready to go. McCurry says, I'm going to go all the way myself. I'll bump from 50 and kick it easily, and we're in front. Almost got pushed in the back by his own teammate there. McGrath had a lot of teammates. Kilpatrick, oh, yeah. oh watch oh. out, Riccardi, oh, well, oh. he kept on going and really makes it hurt. Oh. Really makes it hurt. Not afraid to carry the ball through the lines. His kick, well, it wasn't bad in the end. Heffernan, Lloyd, sits for him well. You'd think he'd kick it, he keeps it low, he loves those. Hurt, can he break the shackles? He did. Jason Johnson, long into the square. This battle between Graham and Lloyd. Oh, Cruel <laughs> a pretty fair debut despite uh, the couple of goals he's had kicked on him by Aaron Henneman. Saw him in the night series, back in the side tonight and uh, doing a darn good job. Heard, couldn't take it, Joel. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. McCurry from a standing start. Lloyd! <laughs> oh, and you can see the look of disgust on Ben oh. Graham's face. Matthew Lloyd kicks his six goal. A 58 point win over Geelong, Lloyd kicking seven. Paul tries a one hander, Solomon overran it, Blumfield's been good. That came out just a fraction easy. And good play, second go by Lloyd to Moorcroft, who caresses it, trying to half and half, and he just rolls it through for a goal. Don't ever let him win a battle over you in the mind. Alessio, good trap by L uh, Lloyd. The hands were very good. And another one to Johnson. He ran a long way. The he did have a quick one, uh, Jason, and then ran a long way. Mark Johnson's left with it over the back. Gets it to Jason. Lloyd's on the burst. Goes to full forward. Lloyd sets himself and takes a marvellous mark. That is, that is a brilliant piece of footballing. So Lloyd from point blank range well kicks his 300th goal in league footy. Right on 50, low uses strength, but Alessio can match him there. Hurt tries to squeeze it out and he gets it back somehow and then forces forward to 20 metres from goal and Lloyd takes another very good mark. Well, he did it once early with the right arm, this time he's done it with the left arm. Right in front. And he's kicked four. Alessio's taken full advantage of... Uh, Coming back tonight, and Michael Long has had a quiet one to Moorcroft. Moorcroft, well, he may go for this, and he has, and given it everything, and it's going to be close. It's a goal. Touch and go on the free for Shepherd. Yep. Oh, that's the year they uh, blitz the Brisbane team as well, wasn't it? The all-time score. Centering ball, Moorcroft, big fly, comes to ground. Just searching a bit, Blumfield, worried out of it. Blake coming through, Moorcroft, oh, cleverly done to Lloyd, we had Mark Johnson oh, over the top he's, he's not again. giving him off <laughs> kick six, he's got the blinkers on to Barnard, Long's on the burst, got him, and Long will turn around, Lloyd's running hard for him now, and Long's going to kick it to Lloyd well done in the front by Hudson, Blumfield Lloyd still, oh gee that was clever, gets it back, and Blumfield goes in, and oh, kicks that a is brilliant Six more goals to Lloyd in Essendon's 86-point win over St Kilda. Again, a poor kick. They just don't seem to have any direction at all at the moment, the Kangaroos. James Hurd, some fancy footwork, <laughs> finds Michael Long, who just wobbles the ball down, looking for McCurry, traps it inside 50. Cross the ground and finds Alessio. Alessio directly in front, 45 metres out. 
He likes it. Just one in the top 35, yet they're undefeated this season. Long getting heard back into the play again as he sits it up. Carousella. Probably nowhere else left to drive. <laughs> You'll let a clone put the rock. <laughs> Carousella has kicked another one. Has he or was it touched? I think it might have cleared the pack. It's another one. Uh, shooting a goal and just might have known. Another goal to the Kangaroos will really lift the confidence. Big pack of players. Archer showed a lot of courage. Kept his eyes on the ball. Lucas, long raking handball to Blumfield, who's a goal kicker. And hammers at home. Bombers into attack. Carey and McKernan both starting in attack in this quarter. That was a fairly wide kick. Blumfield couldn't take it. Streaming through Johnson. He took it with him. Byron Pickett went without it. Blumfield feeding off Mercedes. High kick to full forward. From behind, Solomon got to the front. And that one looks pretty good. So they have started as they started the match. Oh, Hurd. He wanted the footy then, didn't he? And won it. Carousella. In short, Lucas fell over, Archer <laughs> went straight over the top. Lucas getting back to his feet and drilling the goal. Lucas, because they've got these big key forwards, they can play up the ground as well. And you can still have likes of Mercury back, who great hands there, never really fumbled, he was held. Now they've paid advantage, Barnard, 55 metres out, here's a goal going to come up. Barnes has got it and bangs it through. An enormous first quarter to the Bombers, 7-5 to nil against the Kangaroos. They go on and win by 49 points. But oh, look, I think that we, we really uh, have been waiting for a while to prove ourselves. Uh, I know a lot of people are out there are doubting, you know, our side's still up against um, the likes of uh, you know, the Kangaroos, and Carlton, those sort of teams. So we're just going to start putting some scores on the board against them. Yeah. hands and just as we see the rain coming down it's going to be the team that's cleanest as we see Darren Creswell drop the hand. Alessio might kick this it's coming back I like it off the boot it's very close Alessio likes it and it's a goal. Don't take any risks just get it through the goal and let uh, Dustin Fletcher bring it back in which he does and he kicks out wide good Mark Wellman he got out there in a hurry and presented himself and now the Bombers have got some numbers wide Remanaskis at centre wing what a Great year he's having, Ramanaskis, as he kicks it long and Shawble took a chance and Lloyd outmarked him at the back. Do you like the way he sets himself up, plugger for goal? Yeah, he's all purpose. He knows what he's doing. He's full of concentration. And usually a very good kick for goal. 48 metres out. Just a good looking kick. He's got it. He's kicked three. But uh, Essendon just look too strong on their half back flank at the moment. The Swans are just finding it hard to penetrate that line. Blumfield. Hardwick looks up long. Bonford went and then by going he's released Carousella who really can kick a goal here. They're going to be hard to get and he has put it through. It's uh, been terrific stuff here. Hardwick's little soft handball was rather Jason Johnson I should say was effective to Lucas. The full forward hurt front spot. Crouch at the back hurt dangerous. Tries to get a free by going under the, underneath and then throws it hurt. Oh. Hurt's very lucky. Denham throws it out and Lloyd kicks a fourth. Goal. Yes he does. He's got four Lloyd. It's a hard ball and it's hot too. And then Denham gets it back to Mercedes to Hurd. And Hurd still got it. He held his nerve and did really well. And got it to Barnard. Yeah, outstanding kick from James Hurd. Just held his position there. Summed up the situation. A very good kick to Barnard. Fletcher, the target. Well done by Luff. But it comes down to Lucas, who steadies. And does he get it? He gets the all-important first goal. Bolton would have been lucky to get a free kick. It was good umpiring. Remanaskis had nowhere to go. Oh, Solomon was good. Sidestep. Bangs it. Oh, this is a big one. It's Lloyd versus Shawble. Shawble all over him. Lloyd and Shawble and Hurd. Hurd's handball. Had to wait for it. Blumfield held up. Back to Hurd. Hurd straightens up and puts the bombers in front. Ricocheted away. It's into the centre. Gee, Nix was unlucky. He ran into the umpire. And Heffernan took advantage of it and bangs the full forward. Alessio Hurd has been so important in the last quarter. He's been a match winner in this last term and he puts the result beyond doubt. Down by two goals at the final change, the skipper clicked into action with two goals in the final quarter. Well, I think sometimes, you know, the players probably, uh, you know, you have to talk to them about whether they really want to be a side that, you know, win games when they're not playing well. 
and about um, perhaps trying to move the ball a little bit quicker, even though, you know, I mean, it's a ground where a lot of defensive transition can happen and the opposition can and barrel a few players back there very, very quickly. But uh, I thought we took the initiative off Sydney in the last quarter and it might have been, possibly may have been because uh, basically we should be a better side with the, as I said, the talent they've got out of their side. But I thought they were pretty, you know, I thought it was a pretty good game from them. Kick inside the 50, turns the defence around, McCurry up, couldn't hang on, William Sock is off the ground, out towards halfback, picked up by Kemp, he's got plenty of company, hand passes for the boundary, Carousella wide-eyed, picks it up, hand passes brilliantly to Mercedes. Mercedes goes in and kicks another one, well played. It's in stellar form, Barnes also in very good form, strong mark on the other side. Releases Carousella forward of the wing. He kicks towards centre half yeah. forward. Up goes Lucas and grabs it at the second attempt. Eight goals in ten games last season, so it's fair to say he is back. Huge kick. Yeah, wonderful big. kick. Came off under the blood rule once. They work it out of there nicely. Chain of hand passes. The more recent two came from prior and before him Hardwick. Long kick deep into attack. Back goes Lloyd. Hasn't had a big record against the West Coast Eagles. His best effort too. In total nine career goals against them. This one's straight enough. Goes wide. Johnson down to half forward. Blumfield no one behind him. The hand pass untidy. Ramanaskas in trouble. Upended by Peter Matera. Coming through Donnelly. Gave it straight up to Alessio. Alessio kicks and kicks a goal. On to the left boot. He's going to get it down towards Carousella. Running out of room as he's taken close to the line. Needs assistance. In comes Lloyd. Paddling it along in front. Could have caught one in the back. It's going to finish up a goal anyway. It's going to be kicked by Mark McCurry. Number three for McCurry. This was the match the Seagull hit Mark Johnson. Kevin Sheedy in plenty of trouble. Sheedy was keeping a low profile at what was supposed to be a secret training session this afternoon at the State Netball Centre. Tomorrow afternoon, he'll appear before the tribunal on a misconduct charge. Bombers officials have asked Mark Johnson to put in writing just what happened last Saturday night and haven't ruled out pursuing the matter with the league. But the AFL remains far from impressed with Sheedy's not so subtle reaction. We've got an absolute um, uh, obligation to present it in the best possible way and to, and to cut out of the game um, issues um, happenings that are fundamentally unacceptable in the early uh, parts of this new century. Sheedy's extraordinary outburst has been shown across Australia over the past few days and Wayne Jackson says it's not the image that the game wants to portray. I, I, I think Kevin's been around long enough to know exactly uh, what position he was putting himself um, into. Um, probably done a lot worse things in football than that after 35 years. And you, you said in there that you wouldn't apologise to West Coast. Um, well, that's only because of what happened since since uh, last week's match. No, I just uh, it's just the way that I see life, and um, I mean, it's only the first round. That's the way I live it. What do you feel about what Wayne Jackson and Ken Doe said, Kevin specifically? What do I personally think? Yeah, you made a point of I'm not really into, uh, I mean, not really into uh, being worried about that. You guys can sort that out. You're intelligent. Good shepherding, long persists and forces him to kick that ball though to Wellman. Wellman gives it off to Johnson. Again, Essen to go in towards half forward, waiting down as Heffernan. Oh, here's a chance. Penetrating hand pass was very, very good. And Barnes is going to shoot for goal and put the first one through for the night. Trying to hold it in there. Fabian Francis scouting as well and asking the question. I think that's Carousella at the bottom of his head. His jumper taken off. Blumfield is there. Long is there. Crunch as that ball is snapped in towards goal. That is a sensational kick by Matthew Lloyd. He'll go back and take his kick. In he goes, in towards half forward. Oh, big pack of players. Blumfield was at the back. Gaddy Moorcroft is on the ground. In the full forward, and the catch is taken. And the shot for goal. He's just been running up and down the wing with it. Amen. Seven kicks, four marks, two hand passes, and he has kicked the goal. Kick drops short, however, and it's going to be Fletcher again who'll do the sweeping up. 
beautifully in towards Lucas. Swings round now on the left foot. He's got uh, Dean Wallace on the ground. Dean go for goal. 48 metres from home. And he likes kicking a goal. And he has it tonight. Yeah, they cover the lines without any doubt. Uh, that's what's made them the powerful foot side they are at the moment. Oh, dear. That kick went askew, and Wallace might make it goes. Dino's kick won. Unselfishly, he sent us to McCurry. He and he's it. juggled it. McCurry for his first goal. He's had his chances. He just sneaks it home this time, and he's got it. A 31-point win over Port Adelaide. Ramanowska starring the Johnsons' terrific Blumfield Fantastic. Playing up forward or in the ruck. So, an interesting move by the Tigers. Bitterscombe, again, doesn't take control. Short kick, Moorcroft. 25 metres out, should kick a goal. Bangs it through. Bowden's lead was ignored. Dragosevic just pumps the ball on. Big pack of players. Hilton was the high flyer. Johnson from 55 metres out. Fletcher should mark in the square oh, oh, oh. and kick a goal. Fletcher has stayed down on the forward line. And just at this moment, he looks like a loose man on the forward line. You can't be having that. Denham. Fletcher is being picked up now. The hand pass comes back. Hardwick up towards half forward. Moorcroft outnumbered. Groving by Ramanaskis. 51 metres out. Magnificent kick. <laughs> to the half forward line. Lloyd this time. Long, long way out from goal. The Wellman. Quick hands. Ramanaskis wants it. Now does the Shepherding as Wellman centres the ball. Coming across was McCurry. Fletcher sets it up. McCurry's going to run into the open goal. where the Bombers can open it up. It's a floater back towards Long. True centre half forward. Lucas half kicks the ball off the ground. Chappie oh. has lost it. Carousella takes it. Runs to 50. Blake Carousella <laughs> bangs it through. <laughs> Kellaway clears for the Tigers. Hardwick, I tell you, he'd be nearly first pick. Rule through the finals for the Bombers. Here goes Michael Pryor. I reckon he's probably been an emergency a hundred times in his career comes to Solomon. No distance on the kick. It'll bring snow, but it'll bring a mark to oh. Carousel. Well, he should have actually... Lines up for his second. Got a real float to it. Oh. That floats good enough. Play on to the umpire. Wasn't a mark to Barnes. Comes to Denham. Floats the kick to Fletcher. Another rare mistake. Out to Masiti. It won't matter. Carousella. He's just licked his chops as he's taken advantage of his teammates' as great kick, ascendancy, and Alessio will be kicking for his fifth. Carousella started on the bench. He's racked up seven marks and 17 possessions. Alessio for goal number five. What a day he's had. 101 points, the final margin over Richmond. Steve Alessio back, kicking five goals. Here's Lloyd. 50 metres out. He's going to be kicking from a little more than that. He's called to play on now. There's no one in the square. Lucas is dropping back. Too easy. And he goes. Straight down the middle. Away you go. And he does. Towards the big guns. Alessio. Just poked it over the back. That was a little too easy. That was a little too easy for Lloyd. Ramanaskis. Quiet in the first term. The bounce may favour in the end, Michael Long. Lucas, yes, it does to Michael Long. Long kicks a goal. They're warming up the old bomber machine. Here's the bounce. Barnes swats it to Johnson from a standing start. The pass is on. Long is lurking. Look at Michael Long. Vintage Michael Long as he pops it up unselfishly to Long. He's trying to work out how do we just stop this at the moment. There's an avalanche. It is threatening, but... I think people also are seeing uh, one of the best footy teams we've seen for a long, long time going round, and that's a bonus. Lloyd gets his hook. He's playing good footy. Let's have a look at Barnes here. One player will come right through, Masidi, and there we go. Yeah, Mark look Johnson at it. again. No, this is Mark Johnson. Put this down for a goal now, would you? Thank you very much, Carousel. That is a standard plan they've gone with all night. Very quick indeed, but Grover did well. 
to pick it up and get a kick down towards right half forward. The pressure, however, caused that ball to drop short and the turnover to occur. Barnard takes it from Hardwick. Off he goes to Fletcher. Fletcher, a flat-looking punt towards Barnes. He's at half forward. Clean bowls a lot. And here's number seven for Lloyd. Two, two, good. Yeah, Danny, you've summed it up. Buick over the top. Gee, they're exciting to watch. Grover in trouble. Ball to ground. Norwich had it there for a moment. Tried to paddle it out. So too did Gale. Towards Grover. Smothered by Carousella. Cleverly tapped on towards Long. Michael Long. Oh, twisting <laughs> and turning over the top. Finish it off, Carousella. That's and a skill. And we see Alessio's a palm ruckman, so he doesn't bash it forward when he gets the opportunity. He just palms it to the blokes underneath, unlike Barnes, who knocks it forward. Johnson and Mercedes have taken it nine times out of the middle. They combined again, and Lucas will probably kick another one here. Oh, this is party time. There's Richo. Oh, oh. He's saying, how do you stop this machine? And they all break, and away they go again. Fletcher's kick is absolute beauty towards centre wing, and it was taken by Mark Johnson. Quickly off towards Masidi as he picked up possessions and Lloyd will kick for number nine. Or will he be unselfish? Here's Lloyd for number nine. 52 metres out. Struck it beautiful. Dead-eyed Dick. Sensational. Is okay. Comes back towards Carousella. Smashed clear by Jones. Moorcroft could have been held again. Gave it back to Carousella. It's a hot potato. Moorcroft's kick is partly smothered. Cook taken to ground. Oh, but he stolen. Gets Beautiful stolen by Johnson. And he goes. That's good play. Three votes to Matthew Lloyd as he kicks nine to move to 82 for the year. It was Kevin Sheedy's 300th win as a bomber coach. On your mind, Bill? No, not on my, my mind. I think uh, uh, it's something that probably it's mentioned to me. I think uh, every time you, know, you bump into Sapporo, they will mention it. I think it means more to them than it means to me and the side because uh, uh, we've got a goal and that's to win the Premiership. And uh, you know, I know I'd you know, trade in Kane Johnson, a guy I've played teal cut footy with. I'd trade everything I've done to have his two Premierships. So it's not really an issue. It's more. Winning, you know, the way we have this year is more important than you know, me kicking goals. The kick in comes from Rawlings, not too bad. Oh. Into the half back, mistake made. Lucas rebound goes back over his head for a goal to the Bombers. Kick by Masidi goes out wide. Ramanauskas, Ramanauskas has already had four kicks, short, long. Out wide, Rioli, you'll go and you kick a goal. Watch the skill of this one. Watch the skill <laughs> of Dean Rioli. The Hawks try to win it out towards Woods. Bowyer's screaming oh, for it, but he held it for too long. Barnes gives it away. This could be another one. Carousel is a goal kicker. And he's joined the party. Rioli tackle. Well, he's been struggling for possessions, and uh, they've got a good goal kicker in Gary Moorcroft to come on. Got it again, McCurry. Jason Johnson cleared the setter. McCurry gets past, goes for goal, goes for goal. With the nine on the scoreboard to Essendon. Ramanaskis left it at the Look back. At Hardwick, there's little Gary Moorcroft almost down on the 50. And he's a real spark. Away from Rawlings he goes. And he goes for goal and he gets it. And he loves that situation. Barnes again up against Holland, and he wins at Buick. On the boundary line, another dangerous player. Look at that, look at that. So let's see if he can cap it off. He's shooting for number four. He's really in the perfect spot for the left footer. He is in the perfect spot, and he has capped it off in his 100th game. They'll turn it around again. Barnard, Hurd and Co. Rioli in the meantime is going to have a spell. This is uh, Heminen. Heminen on the outer side. Flat-looking helicopter punt towards Long. Beautifully oh, controlled by Michael Long. The master at work. Alessio's come Lloyd. off the bench. Lloyd, look at this. Lucas for goal. The steadier from Scotty Lucas of Camperdown. To the outer side towards Salmon, who's beaten by Masidi. Brings it into Hurd. 23 possessions to Joe. Hurd to Long. Michael Long gives it off to Barnes. No, look at this. Deft little twist, clever of Carousella. Breaking for his third and his 26th for the season. Great signs for James Hurd, I think, that he's playing the game out. Yeah. There's another goal. 
Lucas drifts down in towards the right half forward. Then a centering ball is on its way towards Alessio in the pack, and he doesn't let him down. Big Steve. He is just, uh, he's in his element. Alessio becomes the ninth goal kicker for Essendon as Daniel Chick leaves the ground for Luke McCabe. Barker, not able to break away. Still hurt, he's just absolutely lapping this up, isn't he? Wellman to Carousella. Carousella, position number 26, Lucas. and kicks it to Scott Lucas. But he's such a good kicker of the football, you wouldn't put it beyond him to kick a goal, he does. An 83-point win over Hawthorne at Colonial Stadium. The Bombers, 19 wins in a row. over it there, won it to the boundary. Bombers in attack. O'Reilly lays it down. Mercedes read it best. Joe's going to kick it. It's a goal. It was very clever. Oh, didn't he, to get the goal? And the Bombers are in front. After the Blues have had the most of it. Hume in the centre. Rioli with him. Then Mercedes, you got that opening goal. Kicks to centre half forward. Lucas and Silvani. The handball's beautifully weighted. McCurry should kick a goal. And puts it through. See, they can turn it on quickly. Rice in late. Oh, should have marked it. And then Francina short. Silvani has to wait. May have it taken off him by Lloyd. McCurry gets it back to Buick. Check side. Clever kick to the goals. Barnes has got it. Good mark. And plays on and kicks a goal. And the Bombers are in front. Nine of the last 13 goals. Well, you can't find a winner on the ground for the Bombers at the moment. Colpert. Cut off. Well done by Lloyd. They're only one goal away from being right back again. Blumfield to full forward, Hurd having to lean back, Beaumont terrific, no mark, Hurd's going to kick a goal, and he does. Jason Johnson's kick, Colpert's come off the bench to make a contest, Solomon, oh, oh the only silky skills, and Rioli's still going, and then kicks to half forward, trying to get, oh good take by Hurd in the front, not paid, Alessio plays on, and kicks the goal. Buick had a busy third term when he came on the ground. Alessio and O'Reilly. O'Reilly tried to build it away. Beaumont searching for the back. O'Reilly herds a chance. Toe pokes it cleverly. Wants to get on the end of it. And then crunch in the pocket. Alessio brings it back. Front of the square. Ramanaskas handles on. Long kicks the goal. What a move that's been by Kevin Sheedy at three-quarter time. Hume pushes back. And then Francina toe pokes. She Jason Johnson's played the last quarter. Mark Johnson, McCurry. They're on the burst. McCurry with the bounce. Takes his man on. Goes out wide to the pocket. Blumfield's been terrific. Back to Jason Johnson. And Jason Johnson kicks a goal. What a team they are. This was the contest between the two top sides on the ladder. Essendon successful this day by 26 points. Oh, I, was, I thought it was a pretty boring game. Um, as a matter of fact, I've seen three boring games this week. Um, and probably in the end, uh, it's just sad for the fans when you, you're playing a defensive game right from the start, but that's where it goes. We'll just have to try and work around that. And we will. You know, from the point of view, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll probably try and stretch other sides now. To Brown. Brown in the heart of the centre square. A poor handball in the end. They might be OK. Curley can stop and prop. This is bad for him. Long can make them pay. Can he expose them to Lloyd? And then Lloyd bangs it. And oh. bangs it home for beauty. Stops and props to Carousella, to Blumfield. Nearly in range. Kick the full forward to Lloyd. At the back, one-on-one. -on -one. Fletcher, Alessio. They don't have that crummer. That was the problem. Now they do. They've got the best in the business. What's he done? He's going to kick a goal oh. from Lloyd. Jim McCurry, what were you doing? Winds his target, up high was a Lucas. She dropped it in the end. Mercedes' hands were good. See, Wesley put the toe poke on it then, just to, to oh, try and get they it can away. Run it again. Buick, oh. Fletcher's the target, two to beat, but good enough. Now, is he in range? He'd have to kick from basically the edge of the square. Got low percentage torpedo range here, I think. I reckon he might wind up and they really give it everything he's got. Oh, you're kidding. Have a look at that. You are kidding. That's there. That is there. Reminowskis, a couple of teenagers together. Rioli, Rioli. Good acceleration. Lovely kick to Long. 
maybe Lucas could have, he could have left it for Lucas. Long's on, long kick, good kick to full forward. And Finn oh. Johnson. Oh, he's given it to him. He gave him well. one too. And Johnson, clever play by Johnson. Recognises that he's got the ball there. And he's not giving it up. And hope for something to open up. We'll try and pinpoint a lead. We just can't even visualise anything unfolding. Looking for Fletcher's Fletcher. the target, he won't go. Oh! Unfield! Unfield! Takes a magnificent mark. That's uh, beautiful. Can he top it off with a great goal? Well done, son. The winning streak comes to an end. The Bulldogs by 11 points at Colonial Stadium. Essendon had won 20 straight. Is that a bit what the, the pressure's off now in a way? Oh, no, no, we're, we're trying to win the game. Don't, no, no, there's no, uh, no worries about that. I mean, I suppose, um, look, we got beaten in the preliminary final and, and uh, we'll probably kick off this match a minute ago, you know, so uh, you can't really um, say that we're, we're not super competitive. Um, our, our loss tonight uh, was disappointing. We didn't use the ball well even without pressure on us, you know, and I just felt that we blazed away too easily to um, a fairly full uh, forward line um, and we didn't play that game uh, as well as what we should have, you know, and they're normally pretty quick kicks of the ball that uh, probably let us down. I felt that we had our opportunities, we missed some goals and, and probably they and then they got some, um, they got some free kick goals and I thought they were pretty fortunate. Swooping on the ball, comes to the back Fletcher, gets his kick away, down towards half forward, Carousella's on his own, they've got three out there. Carousella, does he need to share it? No, he doesn't. He needs to kick a goal! <laughs> Magnificent, Blake Carousella! Look a bit hesitant, must see another possession, he never looks hesitant, smoking Joe. Carousella, Denham on the burst, Denham's past to Lloyd. Great kick. And to narrow this gap, which currently is 15 points. 48 metres. That's better. Hooks the kick. It's a bit of a wobbly old one. To half forward. Chance here now for Lucas to Masidi. Masidi lobs the ball in front of goal. Lloyd at ground level. Blumfield. Can he get another one? Gives a hand pass. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Goal. Now the foot skills need to be good. Oh, turn it over, and this is going to be crunch time. Look at Michael Long. Oh, Look this is unbelievable. Reminaskis to Long, and Michael Long can have a cut lunch and still kick a goal. Reminaskis go. gets the goal. <laughs> kick by Masiti in the direction of Lloyd. They swamp him. Atheris got a fist to it. Lloyd off the ground, and a chance for Buick. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Fraser was scored by Buick, that one. That one yeah, could have been, yep. Drew, yep. Kick was there, but on that occasion. The right decision to Jason Johnson, then. Goes wide. Carousella loves to kick a goal, boy. Yeah, Carousella. And the shadows lengthen across the MCG. And Essendon will finish with 21 victories in the home and away season. And nobody in the history of the game has ever done that. It'll be a tough job now for Collingwood. It's taken by Moorcroft. Moorcroft off the left. Lloyd, well done, Presty. Comes to Buick, here's another goal. Johnson, runs at home. Collingwood put up their best, but Essendon go on to complete the best home and away season in more than a century of football. Well, I haven't coached 21 out of 22 before, so that's a pretty, and probably got beaten by more than a kick last week. One ball went through in the last half of the siren, so I mean, I can't, you can't condemn our players. They've been tremendous, but we just have to really work hard in, you know, three or four areas. And I think that, um, you know, you bring Harvick back in, you bring McCurry and Hurd, and I should all come back in next week. So um, Wallace has uh, trained pretty well this week and trained again well this morning. So we've got a few blokes ready to come back in now. Misty McKernan, Wallace gets clear. Left-hand handball, it uh, cuts a path, and Hardwick's on the end of it from Carousella. Beautiful kick to Hurd, got him. And James Hurd with uh, Simpson on him, he's coming out of the square. And Hurd goes for goal and kicks it. 
Ball comes out. Good hands in close there. May have been Blumfield to Wallace. And Wallace having a very promising start. He hasn't played since round 16. McCurry fans want a free kick. G. Lloyd was very strong there. Broke a tackle, got a handball to McCurry. Good kick to Barnard. Sweeps the handball out wide. Mercedes measures it, goes for it, and kicks it. Carousel has been very good. The kick to half forward, Martin and Lloyd. Archer to sweep at the back. Hasn't found the footy. Still hasn't found it, and then coughs it up to Blumfield. They'll make them pay, I think. Barnard to Lloyd. He'll kick a goal. He has. Blumfield trying to get through. Kangaroo tackling was terrific from both sides. The handball coming out from Mercedes. Barnard's got to keep his nut down. He does. Finds Barnes. He's clever, Barnes. Smoker Joe can kick a second one, and he does. This is as good as it gets. Relentless pressure from the Bombers. Mercedes again through the centre. Goes to full forward. McCartney back. Heard read it pretty well. So did McCurry. Out to Long. Long scoops it back. Heard brilliant. Magnificent stuff. And now it's 18 to 3 as Solomon goes to half forward. Lloyd, as he's done all day, bringing Martin Will up the ground. Little toe poke to the pocket, runs onto it, gets it back towards Hurd. Pick it hard, it hurts. So good to see Pick it back. McCurry, brilliant to Long. Long sweeps a handball to Lloyd. Lloyd hooks it back and kicks another one. And he's closing in on 100. Blumfield. Speak about the, the, uh, the rating of the players. Gee, there is no such thing, is it? They're nearly all. Deserving of very, very high ratings, the Bombers. Lloyd and the full forward line. Johnson, here's a goal. Long, Michael Long. Thank you, Michael, for coming. Grant hard of Buick, but he can't get him. And Masiti finds a way. And then Jason Johnson, you reckon he'll play a big second half. To Carousella, to Solomon. Doesn't quite take control, was running hard. Stevens' hip and shoulder was pretty good. Belted away by McCartney. Masiti, Masiti. Goes for it, wobbles it, floats it, and puts it through again. Shot at goal by Barnard, smothered off the boot. Rebounds, Heard, back to Carousella. Handball wide, Alessio, making Makepeace look a little inferior there. The kick towards full forward, spills to Long, to Lloyd, Matthew Lloyd. Stevens, well done Lucas, they're on here, Lucas chipped, no McCartney second effort good, and then Lucas again, McCartney threw it away, Blumfield gets it to Masiti, to Jason Johnson, loads it up, it's a chance, it's through again, they can't do anything wrong. The kick came out to Long, he's got uh, metres in front, look at him trying to again set it up to Heffernan, over the top, Gary Moorcroft. Little kick, unselfish Carousella. He can play on. Goes in, and this is absolutely <laughs> rubbing salt into the room. This is humiliating at the moment. You think they're trying their hardest. They probably are. They certainly did early, but they are just being carved. Buick to Longley has been so creative. He is a genius at work. To Moorcroft, they are just killing them off again. Another one. Solomon has kicked the half forward, Barnard did well, and then releases Carousella, waiting for somebody. Little handball, a half a one to Johnson. Doesn't find Long, a bit untidy. Long's topo clever to Moorcroft. Lloyd needs two for 100. He's going to get one of them here. Well, he's going for a fifth goal. He kicked five goals in his last two finals. Last year, he's got five and 99. Lucas takes them on, gets around, and then bangs it down the line. A one-on-one -on -one situation, not a good kick. Grant uh, Simpson should maybe a free kick, no. Now Pickett, he's in trouble, he's gone. Gets it out, long, now Lloyd goes. Long chips it, he's got him! There isn't enough of them, Robbo. They've got for everywhere in anticipation. It doesn't matter how many there are. There aren't enough. Well, well on your Matthew. from everywhere, are they? Well, uh, let's hope he, uh, he can... Uh... Security guards ringing the oval. Well, come on, Matthew, get the goal, eh? Just 22 years of age. History. He 
he's got it. So much for the security, Rob. <laughs> Severely outnumbered. Congratulations to Matthew Lloyd. That's a superb effort. Look at the recognition from all the fans. His teammates, his teammates were the first to get there. They came yeah. from everywhere as well. I've got a little interest there. Uh, when I first started at Carlton in 1966, his father had a lot to do with me settling in there, John Lloyd. And he's got a couple of brothers who were pretty good footballers too. Yep. And I think it's uh, just a credit to, he's got his feet firmly planted on the ground. He's got a terrific head on his shoulders. Barnard, across the full back line, Mercedes, the architect. Joe Mercedes out wide. He's used the ball well today, Joe. Long is on. No, he's not. Ignore that. Go into the middle. Blumfield. Options everywhere. Handball over the top. Hardwick wants to kick a goal. Left foot kick towards full forward. Wallace a little push out. The ball at the back. Lloyd, 101. Biggest score ever to Robbo. Probably three goals away. Yeah, from got the 30 goal did. barrier and the 200 point barrier to look at. There he is again. Gee, he had his name written on that. He came from about fourth in line. Buick from 50 metres. Darren Buick! Goal, is it? I don't think that's been touched! Another one to the Bombers! A 125-point flogging. Essendon kick a new AFL Finals record score against the Kangaroos. Very good bounce. Big punch by Porter. Here's Whitnell. Hand pass, gives away a little bit of ground. Bradley, strong at the ball was Heffernan. Tackle on Camparelli, pretty effective. Not clear. Bradley, sidesteps, can't get away. How did he get rid of the ball? Porter does well, Mercedes, Hume. Gathered there by Glunfield. Mercedes again, Mercedes to half court. They've got a chance here. The Bombers, captain James Hurd is marked. A little less than 50 metres from goal, about 45 out slight angle. Well, it's just a beautiful pass there by Joe Massetti, who broke from Craig Bradley's tag. Hurd's kick. It's the answering goal for Essendon. Up he goes, Barnes. Backhands it down. Porter missed it. Long picks it up, confronted immediately by him. Jarred out of there. Rice. Johnson took him down. Back to Barnes, falling to the ground. Blumfield on the ground. They all went past him. Carousella, Carousella kicks the goal. Here he is uh, here. When Essendon get possession in their defence, he's the one that charges down to get the extra man. Took too long up to the precise kick coming in. Mercedes lays it off, Carousella pops it up, Mercury's got it, 52 metres out, runs inside the 50. Mark Mercury gets the goal. Back to Alessio. Alessio short, effective Lloyd. Long get away from goal. He's in the uh, defensive half of the ground. Short kick dropped by Romanowskis. Quickly onto his boot. The mark was taken down here by Heffernan. He plays on quickly. Kicks it into the pocket. And the sleeper in the Essendon lineup, Blake Carousello, is marked well within scoring range. Under pressure, Rice over the top. Heffernan, speak of the devil. He's just come out of the ground and kicked the forward. And Mercury will kick a goal, won't he? He's got the mark 45 metres out. Distance, not a problem, you wouldn't think. 45 metres. Just pops it under his boot and casually gets the goal. Mercedes, Heffernan, over the top, Buick, tackled, got the kick away, and the mark dropped, was it? No, paid to Lucas. Grabbed it close to the turf. Scott Lucas, missing a goal in the first term. Kicks the ball towards the half-forward area. Oh, that's a oh, what a terrific effort by Lloyd. Any breeze affecting this kick through the air. He's directly in front. Only 40 metres out. A bit of a scungy old push at it, but he's got it through. And he's kicked. Essendon on top by 15 points. At the base of the pack, Hume trying to knock it out towards Camparelli. Coming across on the angle, stealing the ball is Carousella. 60 metres out. The hand pass to Ramanowskis goes again. Mercury to Long. 20 metres out. Long runs in and kicks it. Wonderful combination. So Essendon are charging onto a grand final. A grand final they couldn't make last season. And the heartache is a thing of the past. Bombers are through. It'll be the Bombers and the Demons.
One year on, Essendon and Carlton again in the preliminary final. No one point result this day, Essendon by 45 points. Expectations are a funny thing. The Demons can't believe they've done it. The Bombers simply had to. The preliminaries are over and the players realise they'll be there on football's biggest day. But some loyal supporters soon realise they won't. Very unhappy. By Monday there's some sense of normality. The Bombers hit the training track. But this week is like no other. There's more of everything. More fans, more hype, and of course, more media. Everything is under scrutiny. It's the stuff Kevin Sheedy thrives on. Matthew Lloyd is just relieved to be out there as the news comes through that he won't face a video charge from a clash with Glenn Manton. Back at Windy Hill, and if possible, the media throng has grown even bigger. And while they wait, some dream of what might have been. The real things line up for their place in football history. The focus then turns to Darren Buick and Mark Johnson who do enough to prove their fitness. Thursday and somehow Kevin Sheedy finds time to take part in a vigorous debate about whether a woman should be on the AFL commission. I've only come to one, perhaps with my problem, that the only woman I met in the AFL at any meeting was this year and it cost me $7,500. Thank you very much. The Junction Oval hasn't seen this many people or had this much attention in years. What could be better for the Demons fans than a lamb chop and the chance to cheer on the boys? Joseph Gutnick knows he won't see the game, but he's seen enough to know he's got a good return on his investment. The only problems for the red and the blue, heavy rain and the fitness of Cameron Bruce. Both worries soon pass. Bruce included as both sides name unchanged lineups. Friday and the schools must be half empty. Children are everywhere as grand final week celebrations come to a spectacular end. Yeah, it's been a big week. Uh, you know, the start of the week was, it was exciting, it's low key now, but this is the big one we've been waiting for and uh, experience with Schwarter, it's been great. This is special, but uh, tomorrow hopefully will be even more special. I can't remember anything about 88 and uh, I really want to stress the guys that this is the time to remember it and uh, you'll have this for the rest of your lives. And while everyone is thinking of tomorrow, it's hard not to get caught up in the moment as the captains get one last chance to get their hands on the prize. And then, as if there's any questions that hadn't yet been asked, there's time for one more media conference. But I guess the dream's about running on down the race in the last game of the year. I guess that's where, that's what you dream about. That's what it's all about. It's fantastic today, but it's a great tradition. The masses then head to Windy Hill as the Bombers stick to their routine for a final light training session and a farewell to the retiring Sean Denham. And then suddenly, it's all over. Suddenly. There's that mighty roar, isn't there? And uh, Dipper caught up with it. He played in eight finals himself. You just can't help yourself on this day. Dick Reynolds, triple Brownlow medalist, coached the Bombers to four flags. It's the record at Essendon that Kevin Sheedy would equal today if the Bombers are successful. Barnes contests. 
Hurd snaps. James Hurd bends it back for the Bombers. Is it enough? I think he started the run. He has. Oh, stolen by Long. Back to Lucas. But here he is there. So to Carousella. Carousella into the open goal. Bombers away. Not 10 metres. Barnes clever. And now McCurry. McCurry's 45 metres out to Carousella. Carousella in the pocket. He's a clever footballer. He's kicked it. What a great goal. On oh, green. Yeah. Wonderful start to McCurry. The ball. McCurry's gone. Terrific tackle. Not pink. Lord's going to kick a goal. And he does. It's a goal to Lord. Blumfield's been brilliant. To Hardwick. To half forward. Alessio and Simmons. Simmons. Oh, 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 oh. Which is in Gee, yeah. Barnes dropped another one in the forward line. Long. Beautifully done. Blumfield gives it back. Johnson. Alessio. Surely a goal. Here comes Kevin. You could argue forever who is the best team of all time, but as Jason said earlier, this is the best season we've ever seen. Kevin Shooter joins Dick Reynolds as the most successful club in over 100 years at this famous club. And they have won their 16th premiership. And is there a better story than James Hurd? Well, maybe Barnsley and Wallace get close. scenes here they did it tough last year in September harder than any other team is Dean Rioli hopefully his turn will come there's always a belief that we get here and win it and um, you know this is much better than last time this is the best football moment I've ever had in my life as I call upon the captain of the Essendon Football Club to join us number five James Hurd Uh, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, all the fans that have followed footy uh, all of your lives. I can assure you that this team has deserved the Premiership. I've got no doubt about that. To all you Bummer fans, thanks for your loyal support. And to all the parents that produce our footballers all around Australia, thank you very much for looking after the game. Thanks a lot. They were the hottest of favourites and ended up winning by 10 goals. The Bombers, perhaps the greatest team in history. See the Bombers fly up, up to win the Premiership flag. Our boys who play this grand old game are always striving for glory and fame. See the Bombers fly up, up. Yeah.